the body's central nervous system cannot do an extreme workload in the same muscle group in or within 72 hours. You got a spine going down to your tail bone and in that spine you have basically a long or a big thick electricity cable and that's your central nervous system. Every time you tax your central nervous system, your body has to neurologically repair itself. We all know what a back squat looks like, right? Anytime you put a bar in your neck and your traps, bars right here, even a front squat, even doing a deadlift, you are compressing your spine. That's good because your central nervous system is gonna be like, oh shoot, this guy or girl is compressing his or her spine. Your brain is gonna say, hey, we need to build some muscle. So it's gonna get really anabolic up in here. It's gonna say, hey, go build some muscle, go boost your growth hormone, let's get going. The thing is, it takes 72 hours for your body to recover neurologically. If you lift heavy for legs, you need to wait at least 72 hours before you do that again. The same thing for upper body. Personally, I recommend to lift heavy once a week per muscle group. So let's say you're doing a four times a week split, right? So you got legs on Monday, then you're gonna hit legs again on Thursday. I recommend go heavy on Monday, hit it hard, 90% of your one rep max, boom, go a couple of reps, finish off with a little bit of accessory work, isolation, bodybuilding style, but not too much because that big neurologically draining exercise that you did where you lifted a five rep max or a three rep max or one rep max, it's gonna leave you tired. You need to recover from that. Then on Thursday, you swap it out with a little bit more bodybuilding style action where you focus more on time under tension, meaning that you're gonna go on that exact same exercise, do way more reps, slower, lighter weight, Monday legs, Wednesday upper body, and the Thursday legs again, lightweight and Saturday upper body again, lightweight, and you're good four times a week. Boom, stay consistent with that. Not only will you be looking great, you will also be strong and you'll be able to actually do something with those muscles as well. Not just bodybuilding, not just powerlifting, but power building.